Welcome to the video channel of Shakti Karola Navrin, who is an expert in the field of healing gemstones. She is a published author as well as the creator of the gemstone profile based on your horoscope. Welcome, this is Shakti, your online astrologer and gemstone lover. I have been an astrologer for 35 years now and a jeweler for 33 years. And all my life I kind of try to bring those two passions together and did pretty uh, interesting things. So today I want to concentrate to teach you how you can clean energetically a crystal or a gemstone you're working with. Uh, you might want to do the same when you buy a piece of jewelry. So gemstones, and especially crystals, you can imagine like empty pockets. So they pick up all kinds of uh, frequencies and energies and thought forms and uh, uh, carry them. So whenever you buy a crystal or a piece of jewelry, you want to make sure that, that you clean the slate, so to speak. So how you do that, if you have a, a like a crystal, this is a beautiful double terminator. So what you do, uh, you place it between your two hands. So in our hands, we have a plus and a minus pole. So we're using this by interrupting the energy flow, which is uh, flowing now between the plus and the minus through the gemstone. So what I'm doing, I interrupt that flow and by that I will be clearing the, the energies out of the stone. Uh, part of it is I'm doing it with my breath and the other part is that I focus on clearing it out. So I do it by uh, pushing out the breath very strongly out of my nose like three times. And uh, that's the most simple way to clear something. Uh, if you have a piece of jewelry you want to clear, you can put it in one hand, put your other hand over it, which creates the same energy flow between plus and minus again, and you do the same. <laughs> it must look really funny, but this is how you do it. So uh, then, of course, there are other ways. You can use the, the, the energies, the, the cosmic energies to do that. So you could, if you have a bigger piece like a crystal, you could bury it into the ground for a while. Uh, especially good to do under the full moon because this is when the energy on the, of the earth is coming to the surface. Uh, you can uh, uh, clear it with salt water. Um, this is a little bit a tricky one. It's recommended in a lot of the literature, but the thing is that salt water can be very aggressive, so you don't want to uh, have a ball and put your opal or your precious gemstones into that and let it lay there for a week, because it will eat away at your precious gemstones, and you don't want that. Uh, equally, I mean, I live on Maui, uh, Hawaii, close to the ocean, but uh, I think it's a little risky to take your favorite gemstones down to the beach and hold it into the water, even if it might be a wonderful way to, to clear the energies. Um, so uh, if I would want to use water, I would just hold it under, under the tap water. It's running water, it's going to clear the energies, even if it's not as fancy as bringing it down to the ocean. So we have water, we had air, uh, fire. You could uh, light a candle and uh, uh, bring the crystal or the, the gemstone or the piece of jewelry uh, fast through the top of the flame. Um, you could use uh, incense. Uh, that's a nice way to do it. Um, like a, a smoke stick, sage stick is wonderful to, to clear energies. And um, so we have earth, we have fire, we have water, we have air. So here, here we covered it all. So these are the, the basic uh, ways to do it. I think the most important part is really your intention, your intention to clear out the energies. And uh, then they're open and receptive for you to put a new program in. 
Well, if you like my presentation, make sure you sign up there for a subscription so you get automatically informed when I uh, bring up new videos. Uh, I have a main channel, Shakti Karola Nevrin, where I'm working more with astrology, uh, but also there are going to be some videos about the connection between astrology and healing gems and how you can use healing gems to balance different areas of challenge and friction in your chart. Uh, but on this channel I'm going to uh, concentrate on, on the mysterious world of gemstones and uh, different ways how to can use crystals and gemstones. I have developed a program called the Gemstone Profile where you can put in your astrological data and then you get your main healing stones uh, based on all the different planet positions in your chart. So you might want to check that out if you're a gemstone lover, that's uh, next step. So you can go to my astrology site, mauiastrologyreading.com and this is where you can find the uh, gemstone profile and a little bit more information about healing gemstones, metaphysical qualities of gemstones and so on. So thank you for joining and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next uh, videos about how you program crystals and all the specific things we can do. So see you soon. Aloha, as we say here on Maui.